Gardens, headed south along the lake, going to the border. This route goes fairly close to the lake in a lot of places. Unfortunately, you couldn't really get a good look at it when it was open enough to see the, the water that was kind of cloudy and misty, so it wasn't a very good view, so I, I can't show you any good shots of the lake here. three quarters of a mile, take the exit, on the right, to Highway 402 West towards Sarnia. It was about at this point where the clouds ahead were getting really, really dark. It doesn't show up because the camera automatically lightens it up, but it got so dark that it actually turned on the headlights automatically. Just coming in to, to Sarnia now, um, approaching the, the toll gate, I paid the toll to get over the bridge, and I speeded this up considerably, but you can see the trucks all lined up here. It was a, they were backed up a good mile. I really feel sorry for the, the truck drivers that uh, they get paid by the mile and they're sitting not doing anything. They're not getting paid. Coming up to the toll here, if there was a booth where you could pay in cash, I could not see it. I had no idea uh, which lane I was supposed to be in and figured, well, this one, the one that I chose, looked like it would be suitable and naturally it's not made for trucks with a wide camper on it and I couldn't get close enough to reach out with my credit card to hit the reader. It was a kind of a cluster, you know what. But I finally did get through, held up a bunch of people. They probably weren't too happy. Over the bridge, in the rain, was kind of wondering how come this lane had no traffic in it. I was seen cars in the left-hand lane, wondering if I should be over there, but they didn't say anything about the lane I'm in being closed, so I just continued on, went past an awful lot of trucks, more trucks, and arrived right here at the border. This section was kind of interesting. The GPS was routing me in a direction that I really didn't want to go and it kept saying that the interstate was closed. So I called up other directions on the phone and the audio from the phone plays through my, my hearing aid. So one GPS was telling me one thing, the phone was telling me another thing. I had dueling instructions. It was kind of funny. Off the interstate for now, we'll give you a little tour through rural Michigan. Approaching 
West Branch, Michigan. I've stayed here a few times before, but it was always in the Walmart parking lot. Stayed in with both with the camper and the fifth wheel in the Walmart parking lot, but this time decided to go and stay in a campground. And fortunately, the I spent a lot of time trying to find this campground because the directions that were given were totally wrong. I ended up on a dead end road and no sign of a campground anywhere, so took the second choice. It's kind of a nice little spot, a little on the expensive side for just an overnight, but we'll make the best of it and continue the journey tomorrow.